because Timber's got a, a lane winning matchup versus the Conquer. So. I know it's def definitely favorable currently. I much rather LGD's lineup. The only thing I'm worried about is you know, the combination, the Vici pouring back into the boat. Or the, the the vacuum back into the boat torrent combination and then etc. 11 HP regen currently with the mangoes to get up top. That's where your first blood will be. FI is going to pick up the first blood. Yeah, but why do you have not have vision of it? Fade will get stunned up. They have the tag team moving to it slow. The hex, the fortunes in, won't be able to keep them alive. The magic immunity, but the ball won't be enough. Quarters of a level as well. In lane, they'll get the X. Chain four, but they have the snowball follow up nicely played the role. Into the torrent though, T Y will T P in but really He's only got 81 gold. <laughs> but I mean even then, snowball in. They block him up, they have the shard, so he's trapped with the magic immunity. Will stop the damage coming out. It's just gonna delay this kill. Nicely played. They're gonna bait here with the timber. The roll forward will connect. FI is coming through the boat though with the kick away, a little bit of a misplay now. They might be in a situation, the magnetized, they drop the wall, their flies falling low, they're holding the place, a nice two net back. They bring down the toss, and Timbor, the magnetized damage, he's gonna fall as well. They turn this, but the stun into the Omni Slash, they'll lose Yang and also fade. Got two kills in return, Paparazzi's gonna get Timbor up, he does have the stun though, but so much burst potential. The Yang surges up Paparazzi, but now it's on cooldown, he's gonna go straight on top of the wave, they will find Yang. Paparazzi, the surge is going to end a nice back, back onto three, but they have the earth spike, it hits all of them. He's low on mana, they tuck up the Omni Slash, they lose the Terror Blade, and they're going to lose the Dark Sea as well. A nice silent kick, yeah, somehow still alive, they force the Ravage, but the Falls Promise, no, cast his curse, question mark, Somers from behind. They find the Oracle, will he blow up, Yang's still alive, the Surge, he might be able to get away from the Tim, and they're trying to chase for DY as well, FY's got the Invis. The Observe World scouts out Fade and there's two on the higher ground. This is a bad spot to be. They got the tag team, the Warriors Pond. Fade will chuck Dyer's out the false promise, but DY is going to fall. And roll a nice hex from X Nova. Down he goes, unable to get himself away. Face forward, they get the back back onto Chalice. Is the only one here? The Silence to X into the boat. Do they have enough damage though? He's pretty beefy. And they do. Okay, so they at least get one kill. Chalice. Be careful, they'll X him back, they have the boat follow up, but the TP rotation's coming through from the rest of the side, and look at the Ravage, they can get onto the fire, the chuck on forward, and the timber chain, Chalice falling low, but on the back line they lose the Oracle, who is unable to get the false promise off in time, but do they have enough follow up damage, looks like VG, they're just trying to get the heck out of here, the Magnetize, everyone's falling low, the snowball forward, can they control Paparazzi, and they have the burst damage, they'll lose the Conqueror on the side as well, fade, I'm unable to get them all away, and GG just gets pulled. For a 20 minute GG, 18 for 3, an 18k gold net worth lead, and Vici, they call it quits. Wow. Who called it? I'm very surprised he did not use the ball to get the creeps down. Boy, X Nova is going to be your first blood. But they might try and turn it on Paparazzi here. Nicely played from Vici. He's got double braces. He's going to be fucking fat. Paparazzi, they go for the Lucent Beam. But once again, the Phantom Strike away. They might be able to find Fate though. A nice Shards block. He's going to get caught here. Will run right into the hands of LGD. And he has an early hood. They'll find Chalice. The Iron Shell, gotta recognize this, they go for the wall, he's taking a lot of damage, knocks out the wall, the Astral's gonna hold him in place and that will be enough damage, Surge is available, he's gonna go for the coil, they get the silence, the T come the TP rotations, and they keep the Darks here alive, they'll Astral up the Beastmaster, the T1 tower will fall, they cut the wall, the Sentinel's Eclipse down, goes the Tosca, the roll onto the Outward Devourer, they're gonna be able to blow him up, and now Yang might be in a situation, look at the damage from the balls, they kill the E.T. as well, Pox, kind of man fight here, they do glimpse him back, but he's got the orb available, 
They're going to dive for this. They have no points in the Eclipse. The Shards will block him in. Here comes Chalice. He doesn't have Roar available, but they should be able to slow him down after the Surge. One more right click will bring him down. Nicely played from LGD. A good rotation. FY is here as well. Oh, Paparazzi. They initiate forward. The code doesn't connect, but they will have the Shards. It's going to lock him in place. Do they have enough damage though? And they do. Static Storm's available. Will be envisioned for the glimpse back. And now straight on top of the O. Well, Devourer. Can they bring him down in time? And his clips gets dropped. And now Chalice might be in a similar situation. The Astro will keep him alive. He does turn the kill though. Worth it for Chalice, I suppose. I mean, he gets a blink. Puck could do it himself even. They're going to TP mid. Ori, they'll have the roar, it's gonna lock him in place, the curl onto two, a nice feedback, will stop the sleep from disrupting the fight, and now LGD, they're gonna take this tier 1 tower and probably go into the Roshan pit, we'll be able to get the D ward, but DY with the static storm, X Nova, the frost shield's gonna give him some damage reduction here, a nice sleep though, it catches the puck, do they have the static storm though, they blow up the outward devourer, he's unable to get the astral off, he's still alive, never mind, that, what the fuck just happened? Dude, we're gonna smoke up to the bot side, Puck. Uh-oh. Little lead in, they get the backpack into the static storm. They're gonna smoke up, Yang will get scouted, they drop the Eclipse for this. But he's able to get himself away with the Surge and Arme pops the BKB, the wall gets dropped. A nice roll on the outward devour, but do they have enough damage now? The call gets dropped, he will get the Astral now, the Chain Frost in the back line, Yang. He's still pretty tanky here, the Sinister's gaze. OD pops a BKB, the Sandy's creeps comes out, they lose the toss. Are they somehow still alive? They'll buy back on the Tosca. The Earth Split it comes through, it's gonna connect on two. Park on the back line. We'll try and do as much damage as he can. DY in the trees. They'll have the vision from the snowball. The buyback's galore coming through. They're gonna try and win this fight. LGD FY, this will be a dieback. Take that. He's through and however the Tosca is gonna get spotted out here, Yang will get. Thunder, the snowball on top of the jungle camp. Armies are pushing forward here. Half HP done. The backpack won't be onto the earth splitter. A nice call in the backline. The BKBs get popped. The static storm really on no one. And have they have the roar. Can they kill the dark seat in time? The Astral's gonna keep him alive. And now Arme is in a situation. The BKB is about to run up and he will get right clicked down. So the Eclipse does nothing. They find the X Nova on the side as well. The Frost Shield. He's gonna go for the Sinister Blaze. The snowball in, the Astral will keep the Outworld Devourer alive. A nice initiation from the Puck, the counter initiation. They find the Phantom Assassin with the Dagon. He might reinitiate here. The rest of Radiant are pretty weak. Ori, in goes Chalice, but they have the Force Staff. The Astral will kite them. There's a lot. Of, I don't think they have a lot of damage now. The Silence, OD. He's going to end up falling here. They have no detection though. The Semi's Eclipse. They're going to turn it. The Puck has the phase shift. Can he get out of this though? The Blink. But he's dead. A little impatient here, they're gonna leave with Paparazzi, they will get the Abyssal Blade, can they kill the Beastmaster in time, the Eclipse comes out, but he's got the Cheese and the Brawl, it will push back the Dark Seed, can they kill the Phantom Assassin, he's got the BKB, he's gonna get the Phantom Strike away, now, Elder Titan does drop, the Chain Frost on the back line, the Coil holds Paparazzi in place, the Spirit Vessel doing a lot of damage, Yang falling low, X Nova, they will lose the Toss, the buyback, comes through, and now the Beastmaster, they bring him back, a blink forward, they silence him up, and now they're trying to look for more. The Sandy's clips get dropped. They're gonna lose Chalice as well. No, the Snowball will keep him alive. Yang, one more right click brings him down. They're gonna be able to find Ori too. You can end the game with this. They're just going to, I think. This is game. A buyback on the OD. Elder Khan is about to come off um, the respawn. He's got to do his best to delay this with the sleep. But they force a glyph and they can't defend it with the glaives bouncing around. They're gonna lose the racks as well. He force drop. And they'll have the BKBs as well. So Tannic on Arme, are they gonna do this? The BKB gets popped. A nice coil, they wore up the outward devourer, and that's a dieback, and GG gets hauled. And LGD, they come back. What a team fight around the mid lane.